Anything good over here? Oh, we just happened to find the mayor's purple shorts. What are you doing, Maru? Come to my room if you ever want to tinker with my gadgets. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> this stays between you and me. Got it. I'll cut you, kid. <laughs> no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Are they in love? Hey, guys, it's Adam K. Swimming Bird, and welcome to Stardew Valley. Last time, we went on a mining adventure during a huge thunderstorm, upgraded to the copper watering can, and commissioned the construction of a new barn, which should be finished pretty soon here. I'm thinking by the end of this episode. Welcome to Living Off the Land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. Got a spa in your town? Relax and hold still in the steaming hot water to replenish your energy. Ah, scalding your way to full stamina. Feels good, don't it? Seems like if you're in the bath too long, you should take damage or something. Or at least your little feet would become prunes. And then you could sell them for a bunch of gold. We got some mail here. Adam, I found this recipe in a magazine. I thought it sounded interesting. Feel free to give me a taste if you make it. <laughs> Shane. Oops, sorry, didn't mean to write. <laughs> Evil laugh. I have a, a sneaking suspicion that Shane is fixing to play a potty prank on us. I don't know, strange buns and pepper poppers. They just seem like big red flags on the way to toilet trouble. But maybe he's just being nice. I think we got our first corn harvest of the season with many more to come into the fall. Now, I've got a bunch of cash here and we could do quite a few things. We learned a new skill last time. We can transmute copper into iron and it's not really an equivalent exchange there for alchemy. Three for one deal. But then if we get iron, we can make our bee house sprinklers. We could eventually get the stable. I'm gonna make another chest here. The stable costs 10,000 gold and we almost have that, but it also requires 100 hardwood and five iron. So I don't know if we're gonna be able to, to quite make that yet. I need more hardwood, but maybe in the future here pretty soon. Right now, I'm focused on trying to get those little cows. I'm just gonna make as much of that. There we go, as we can. I'll try a sprinkler. We got an achievement, okay. Let me look at my achievements here. We did get a few recently. So we've got one for getting 50,000 gold. We uh, five heart, heart level with Maru, got that one, and then crafting 15 items. Okay, we'll have to go see the hat mouse out in the woods here pretty soon, and maybe he'll give us some good hats or at least let us buy them. So let me move this over. I'm gonna resort stuff today because I have way too much stuff in these chests. We should put something in there. Maybe I'll put a piece of corn and get some gross pickled corn. I don't know how that would taste, but it should be worth a good amount of money. So yeah, let's plop this chest here. And I think I might move my like foraging goods over to one and then we'll have produce in another. We should be able to finish a bundle as well. And Robin is pretty close to done. This is close for Robin. I think she has like a flurry of activity the night before it's, it's finished and we should have our barn soon. So if you guys wanna leave suggestions in the comments, if you have cow names, I really appreciate it. We're gonna get as many cows as we can, and that'll probably have to, ha have to happen next episode, even though the barn will finish today, because uh, Mar Marnie's ranch is not open Mondays and Tuesdays. She has like a extra weekend there. That's her weekend though, I guess she's, she's open on the actual weekend. But but yeah, we'll not be, we will not be able to purchase any baby cows, any calves, until a little later on. This crop here, I'm pretty sure that was struck by lightning. I saw a few people mention that and that's why it died. That's the the dangers of going out in a storm, I guess. We got so much here. I don't know if I can pick all this, I can't. All right, I'm gonna organize things, do some crafting, and I'll see you guys when we head into town. Okay, before we head into town, I'm gonna plop this down here and then we'll get some seeds. I don't know if I'm gonna go crazy with these basic sprinklers because they only water four around them. And we could just, you know, use our watering can now that's upgraded to do that. But uh, there we go. Now, I don't know if we, we don't really have any flowers around. I'll probably just put this somewhere where I know I can check on it easily, like maybe over by this little cave and we'll see. But yeah, depending on what flowers you put around the little beehive, you'll get different types of honey. And, uh, but yeah, so I'm, I've got a ton of stuff, a, a bunch of different produce that I'm gonna take over to the community center. So let's go into town. I'll let Robin work in peace. I've just been hanging around this whole time. Ooh, we got some wiggle worms, some more little sweet peas. Ooh, <laughs> I know rocks is not the best thing to get from those, but it seems uh, like something I need here. I'm running out after building that barn. Uh, but yeah, so the sprinklers I did mention, uh, they are useful because they automatically water 
but I might just, you know, save my iron for bigger things like the stable and the upgraded sprinkler that'll do eight. So that'll be a lot more useful. Because right now, yeah, with the watering can, it's just gonna to uh, water spots that I'm gonna have to rewater if I get the rose anyways. Uh, the monster is known as slime, or throwing an element to balance into disarray. I would like an adventure to enter the mine and slay four. There we go, the wizard is going to commission us for that. And uh, I think I'm gonna grab at least a few different little seeds here from Pierre before he shuts up shop. I might just keep getting corn because I know it's gonna grow into the next season and I'll save the rest of my money. We need 1,500 gold, excuse me. I know this is your shop, but <laughs> on Wednesdays the shop is closed and we bar the door by uh, standing in front of it. But yeah, so I need a, uh, a ton of money here if I'm going to get those cows and be ready to get some milk from them when they've matured a little bit. It only takes a few days, we learned from the chickens. But it's 1,500 per cow, there's some right now, and 1,000 for the milk uh, jug or milk pail that we're gonna need to milk them. So I'm trying to have enough for that. I think we should be good, there she is. She's not in here for me to buy any cows and the barn isn't finished yet anyways, but let's give her a little present, thank you. How are we doing on, uh, on affection? with Marnie. She's in here, there. Oh, we're two. We ha we went over to two hearts. Can we sneak in? We can, we're in her room and we're looking at all of her belongings. You dig around in Marnie's private drawer. There's nothing of interest. Anything good over here? Oh, we just happened to find the mayor's purple shorts. The lucky purple shorts, better return it to Lewis. Okay, so once you reach two hearts with someone, you can sneak into their room. We haven't tried that yet with, uh, with Maru or anybody. Oh, are you looking for Aunt Marnie? She's got a uh, something that the mayor is looking for, but now we stole it. <laughs> we, we did a little heist there. Let me see if we can find the mayor real quick, and then I'll, uh, I'll maybe head back to the farm and plant these before I run out of energy. Everybody's out today, or at least they're heading home since it's the evening. Ooh, what are you doing, Maru? Come to my room if you ever want to tinker with my gadgets. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> There's Shane. These are uh, these are Silver Star. I wonder if those are better quality shorts than you would usually find. That that uh that invitation we were just talking about going <laughs> to Mara's room. I think the mayor is either at the saloon or his house. I'm gonna try the saloon. Nope, he's not quite here yet. The sadder citizens are here already, like Shane drinking in the corner by the fire, and Pam, of course. Uh, <laughs> where is where is the mayor? Maybe he's out tending to his garden. I didn't bring anything for Maru. I could try to give her one of these peas. Hey, Maru, come back! Quick. <laughs> She's not as fast as I am. I got those farm muscles running. This is a super gift, thank you. Oh, she actually liked that a lot, okay. Maybe I should start giving her sweet peas instead of uh, sweet peas for my sweet pea, instead of worrying about trying to get other stuff that she might not even like as much or would be better sold like parsnips and cauliflower. Elliot, where's the mayor? Have you seen him like, lately here? He's usually standing in the plaza. A gentle little sunbeam woke me up this morning. I've never felt so refreshed. I'm sorry if that isn't very interesting to you. His life is all just, you know, relaxing on the beach, it seems like. And here's little Vincent. I'm gonna grab some stuff here, because it looks like there's a few things to find on the beach. Then I'll head back to the farm. We'll give the mayor his shorts tomorrow and uh, see if that barn is finished. So I'll see you guys when we head to bed. I almost forgot to go to the community center real quick. We're gonna drop this stuff off in the bundles. Hey, little guy. They're all over the place. They're trying to tell me to go to the other ones that we haven't really looked at yet, but we're focusing on the pantry for now, I believe, is where the little crop ones are. Here we go. And, uh, oh no, this is the craft room. We need the, uh, not the foraging stuff. We're looking for, they're up here, because this is the one we went to before, right? This is the pantry, okay. So we have all of the summer crops that they want. Oop, there we go. Plop those in. There we are. Shift and click, it'll just put them right in there. And that is complete, and we got, ooh, a quality sprinkler, there we go, that's what I was talking about, that's what I want. That's gonna help us a lot more than just, uh, you know, putting one with uh, only four around it. I'm gonna leave those there, but we can't complete that until into the fall when we get pumpkins and eggplant. There he goes, all right. So that was a good reward. I think I'll go uh, plop that down and plant some stuff, and then we'll head to bed. All right, good night, ham bone. Let's see how much we got. We had a lot of stuff harvested, and we got foraging upgraded to the next level. Plus one axe proficiency. We can make a lightning rod to prevent any more corn having to die. Wild seeds for the fall, and a warp totem for the beach. Ooh, that's cool. I guess if we want to get down there fast. All right, how much did we make? 
I think we made up and then some, oh, we're past 10,000. So tempting to try to upgrade the house or build that stable, but I need more hardwood and uh, normal wood if I want to do the house. Let's see how the weather's going to be. It is clear and sunny again, of course. I think we got our one rainy day for the summer last time. Neutral effects. So uh, my big goal today is to find the mayor, give him those shorts, and, uh, ooh, what is this? Mayor Lewis. Adam, I'm, I'm really glad you've become part of our community. I've enclosed a 500 gold check from the Stardew Valley Agricultural Fund to help you continue your good work. Maybe you can buy some seed with it. Sincerely, Mayor Lewis. Uh, Mr. Lewis. That would have been a lot more helpful when we, uh, <laughs> when we just started out. Right now, we've got a ton of money and a fresh new barn. That little sprinkler's putting in tiny work down there, but this one this is where I planted the corn. That is a lot more helpful. So let's check out the barn. Nothing inside yet, but works the same as the coop, it looks like. Whoa, it's huge, though. And we can put some feed. I might just put this in here while we're here and uh, grab enough to fill this thing up. There we go. For when these cows are home. Thank you guys so much for watching. Well, actually, never mind. I was going to say. Thank you guys for uh, for leaving the comments, but uh, I was thinking ahead too much. We still have another day to go. We're not done yet. Let's let the chickens out. <laughs> I was just, yeah, I was like, next time we're going to get those those cows, but we're not done with this episode. Here we go. And uh, I'll have to see what else is going on in town today, because it's a lot faster getting these crops watered. I have a lot more time than I usually do, now that we don't have to spend a ton of time doing all this. Those melons are looking... Pretty close to ready. The peppers over here from Random Seeds have a bunch of uh, bunch of crops for me, and we got some more tomatoes. Okay, that's all looking good. Let me pop some of these in the mayonnaise machine. I think mayonnaise and uh, it seems like these sweet peas are some of the more popular gifts around town. It feels like I should uh, save a bunch of the sweet peas to use later. I think I can sell most of this stuff because we do have. I'll save a few more. I was using up some of my tomatoes and different things to uh, to make sure I got those bundles completed. But we can throw those in there. There we go. All right, let's go find the mayor. I can do my chores a little later on. We're going to have to build a new fence around this thing, and I'm just going to kind of make a giant pasture, and then we can let them bolt out very easily, keep all the animals enclosed in one little area is my plan. And, uh, yeah, we definitely have enough to buy all those cows and the watering pail and still have, like, 5,000 gold left. So just checking for little things. We've been foraging a lot, obviously, if we got up to level six and can craft. How do we do this? One, we need a bat wing and refined quartz. Definitely not something that we're going to be able to do anytime soon. Hardwood coral and fiber. Okay. And uh, that's mostly it for stuff that we can craft right now. The warp totem, I wonder if it, it gets used after you use it once. So I don't know if that would be worth it, especially right now when hardwood is kind of tough to come by. And I need a bunch of it for the stable. That's my goal first. What do you want from me, money? i give you a pot of gold to leave me alone. Or a recipe for peppers to make you poo. Someone bring me a largemouth bass. Where is the mayor? Let's find him first before I forget. Because he has got to be around here somewhere. Oh, give him a sweet pea. He's got to be around. And there he is. Okay, good. Mayor Lewis, I've got something you've been waiting a long time for. We didn't even have to give it to him. You found him. Where? Oh, uh, <laughs> there. I have no idea how they could have gotten there. <clears throat> this stays between you and me. Got it. I'll cut you, kid. <laughs> All right, so we got a reward for bringing back the shorts. Ooh, even more money than from the agricultural fund. I can see that my, uh, my, my money is going to a good cut, or my uh, tax dollars here in town are going to a good cause. The mayor is spending it to get his shorts back from his booty call. Okay, so, uh, so I'm gonna go see... Ooh, I don't know, it's Tuesday. Uh, oh yeah! I heard... There she is! Maru, come here! Sebastian hardly ever talks to me. I wonder if he even likes me at all. Hmm. It's sad. I want to have a brother, but he doesn't act like one. Well, maybe give him a sweet pea! Everyone loves these. It's a super gift. Now, I heard that if we go into the clinic on... I think it's Tuesdays and Thursdays. I'm gonna try this. There might be something good happening. Let's see. Looks like it. Yeah! A little cutscene here with Maru. What's she doing? She's got her beaker. Ugh, I'm so sick of preparing these samples. I'll help you. Oh, oh no! Oh jeez, that's why you don't visit someone at work. You're just gonna stress them out. Ah, oh no! Oh no. The whole sample is ruined. Harvey's going to kill me. Is that him back there looking at his chart? Doesn't look like he's got much work going on. He'll never notice. Adam, what should I do? 
Ooh, just scoop it off the floor. He won't know the difference. Tell Harvey it was my fault. Tell Harvey it was an accident, I think, is probably the best here. Or I could take the blame. I feel like an accident. Yeah, you're right. I should just tell him the truth. That's the ideal way to go, guys. <laughs> Hopefully that was the right choice. What happened? Uh, I heard something break. I don't remember what... He didn't have a... <laughs> I gave him, like, a Harvey. The, uh, the one character in the movie Harvey. I accidentally dropped one of the samples. I'm so sorry. Oh, jeez. Thanks for telling me the truth, Maru. Uh, don't worry about the sample. We'll, we'll just get another one. It's all right. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for being patient with me, Dr. Harvey. And making a cat face emoji above your head. Of course, you, you've been a big help around here. I, I don't know what I'd do without you. Mm. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Are they in love? Am I getting in the middle of something here by courting her? Adam, uh, you look a little pale. Are, are you feeling okay? I'm doing all right. Don't worry about me. I just scared someone into into uh, <laughs> dropping a beaker. Are we here to see the doctor? I don't know about that. It depends on what the doctor is going to tell us. I hope I don't have some weird, inoperable farm harvest sickness. No, we inhaled the wrong corn. Feel free to stop by my office if you're ever feeling ill. All right, let's get out of here before we catch the flu from that big nose sign. Okay, I'm going to head back to the farm and, uh, and see what else we can do before the day is over. Thank you guys so much for watching. If I can just get a little bit more iron and 75 more pieces of hardwood, we can finally have a stable and I can ride around town in style much faster on horseback. We'll see how that goes in a future episode, but next time we'll have cows, so please leave some name suggestions. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this as well, and I'll see you then. Goodbye.